hello friends and welcome back to simply kdp so in this video i'm going to share with you how to create a paperback book cover in canva for your amazon kdp books now to be specific we're going to be creating a kids coloring book cover in canva now as you can see here on the screen this is the entire framework and everything you need to do in order for you to create book covers that actually get sales for your paperback books on amazon kdp so initially you need to look at the competition you need to have the size of your book you have to modify and create in Canva. now don't worry you're going to understand everything that is here in just a moment now the biggest problem most beginners make when they are trying to publish on amazon kdp is actually trying to design their own book covers from their own imagination and that's a wrong way of doing things check out the competition and see what is already working and just simply modify what is already working so let's go right ahead what you want to do is come to amazon and in the search bar what you want to display where it says oh you want to click the drop down arrow here and you want to change this to kindle store and once you change it to kindle store you want to search for the type of book that you are creating so let's say for example in this video where i showed you how to create a kids coloring book using ai with canva we actually created a kids coloring book so we're trying to create a cover for a kids coloring book so on amazon i'm just going to search for a kids coloring book okay so we're just going to click on that so from the results you get what you want to do is simply start scrolling and checking out the book covers that are getting sales now what you're trying to find is a book cover that is easy to make and also has some reviews and probably maybe was recently published for example this book cover you can see here looks very simple and you can actually create something like this so, so i'm just going to quickly check through this and when i find the design i'm going to continue the video from there all right so this is the design that i actually found amazing and very easy to create so what we're just going to do is simply download the book cover that is right here and save it to your computer as we're going to use this as our template or something that we can simply modify this is this part we are talking about the modify now we're going to get to that don't worry so I've saved this to my computer now the next thing is you want to have the size for your book cover you have to have the measurements for your book cover and to get the measurements what you have to do is Simply come over to a website known as kdp.amazon.com and this one which is the cover calculator for amazon all you have to do is enter your book information so i'm going to use the information that i actually use when we're creating a kids coloring book using canva so the binding type i'm simply going to choose paperback then the interior type black and white paper type we're going to use white paper the reading direction is left to right the measurement we're going to go with inches it doesn't matter whether millimeters or the likes canva supports all of them then the interior trim size in this case remember it depends the book that you created so in this video we created an 8 by 11 book so i'm just going to use that as our measurements okay so 8 by 11 then the page count was 52 pages remember the coloring book was 52 pages i even gave out the template for those of you who are new to the channel simply watch this video and you can download the premium template that you can simply just add your own images and you will be ready to publish on amazon kdp okay so once you have that just click on calculate dimensions so now the book cover calculator will give you these measurements and these are the ones you are going to use to actually create your book cover for your amazon kdp now the most important measurements is this one which says full cover and you can see these are the measurements we are going to use the 17.367 by 11.25 and what you want to do is download this template and save it to your computer or whatever device you are using and also take note of these measurements so once you have the measurements you are going to go to canva and we're going to start creating our book now you can see here now we are on this part which says modify and create in canva so this part and the creating canva simply go together so in canva what we're going to do is click on create a design okay let's click on that then what you're going to choose is custom size then on the custom size you have the width and the height you are going to enter the details you got from the full cover description so you can see 17.367 by 11.25 so in this case you're going to enter that and this 
is what we're going to enter in Canva. So this is the page we're going to use to create our book cover. So the next thing is to upload the uh, page or the template that we downloaded from Amazon KDP cover calculator and also the one that we got from Amazon KDP the book cover into Canva. So I'm just going to go to uploads and simply upload those images by clicking upload files. So once you've uploaded your files all you have to do is drag the template to your page like that and you want to make sure that it fits the entire page okay so just drag it and it fits the entire page like that okay now this is our book cover so what you have to understand is that this part right here or the right part of your book this is the front cover and this other part which is the left part is the back of your cover so now to start designing what we're going to do we're going to bring in the image for our inspiration so this was the image we downloaded and we're going to use this image for inspiration purposes so i'm just going to fill it in here okay if you want you can also fill it in even with the front cover it's so right now what i'm just going to do i want not to be disturbed so i'm just going to place it this side and this is our book cover so you can see first and foremost they have this text which says animals so we're going to add some text here which say uh whatever title of our book is so in this case since we created a an alphabet coloring book i'm going to click on text right here and simply click add heading then i'm just going to type a b c in caps and simply place it over right here now what you can do is simply you can compare them you can put it like this and start enlarging so that you get a similar size to see how it looks okay so like that i think that size is best and you're going to place it right here okay then what we're going to do you can see the color for this actual the name is blue we're going to change the color also here you're just going to click on the color icon right here and here we're going to use the new color palette okay just click on it and we're going just to use the color picker right here just use the color picker and you're going to copy that color from the page and you can see it looks nice then you can see that this text has like a an outline right here so we're going to click on effects while our text is selected and we're going to choose outline okay like that then the outline you can see that it's white so what we're going to do is change this outline color and just place it to white now you can't see the outline because our background is also white so what we're going to do you can see also they added a different outline also so above the white which looks a bit like greenish or a light blue so we're going to double click on this one and you're just going to duplicate the text okay now once the text has been duplicated we are going to change the outline for this text to this color so what we're going to do is just click on the effects right here and here where it was saying text color now for the outline you have to change it to a different color so in this case we're just going to use the color picker once again and want to pick this greenish color outline okay like that okay. so now you can see we have that now what we're going to do is place it just above the other text and we're going to send it to the back okay so layer and just send it backwards like that so now you're going to select the text that is on top now this text is the one which is has the white as the outline so once it's on top right here you click on the effects option and you want to reduce the thickness for the outline so that that blue is visible and you can see now that our outline for the green is visible then the other thing you can see that this text is making a thing like a cave like shape so we're also going to add a cave to our text so now here where it says shape just click on cave and want to when you it makes a cave want to reduce this one maybe to 65 okay like that then you have to do the same for the one in the background also change it to cave and also reduce it to 65 okay like that then simply place them together like that so now we have our text right here and now what we want to do maybe is to group this text now first let's just move our template below here and i'm going to select this together and just play group like that okay and we're going to bring back this background template that we got from uh, kdp cover calculator all right so we have our text right here and now you can see when i move it it's joined together and that's good so the next thing is we want to create this one which says coloring book we want to bring it right here so we're going just to do exactly that okay so what we're going to do is come to elements right here and we're going to choose 
choose a shape now the shape you want is one that has curves so click on co and you'll be able to see the curve the shape right here so just select this one okay and you can see it's added so what you're going to do i'm just going to place it right here and reduce it in size like that and simply hold down the alt key and enlarge it like that text so what we're going to do is simply drag it over to this other side and also we're going to change the color to suit this color so just click on it and choose the color palette right here and also click the palette color and choose color picker and you want to select this orange color or yellow color then that looks nice then what to add text here we're going to go to text add heading and we're just going to type in coloring book okay and reduce the size like that then we're going to drag it over right here okay then we can enlarge it a bit like that okay and want this to be bold then maybe we can also change the font from here and so that we have a slightish thick font so let's maybe use this one leagues patterns to see how it looks like uh this uh chivo black looks nice so i'm just going to use this one and just place it right here and that's our coloring book then the next thing we want to change the color for the text also to suit the color that is here so you can see it's brown what you can do to be accurate just use the color picker just choose it and you want to choose that brownish color all right so you can see our book looks nice now we can see that this uh, text uh, shape also has has an outline right here so we're going to select our shape right here and here next to the color palette you have the border style just click on it and you want to select the border line now here you can reduce the borderline weight to maybe three so that it looks nice okay like that maybe then the color border color you can also reduce it to not completely black maybe a slightish grayish color so you can maybe reduce the black a bit to be slightish gray all right like that all right so you can see that our book cover is beginning to take shape and so far so good so next is we want to add also some graphics like they added here they added the uh, animals right here would also want to add some images right here so in order to do that you are going to click on elements right here and you're going to search for whatever it is that your title is for example here it's uh, it's abc so i'm just going to search for abc right here and what you want to do is simply check through either the graphics or the photos option and see what you find and you want to find something that is nice for you to use and add it right here if you don't find anything nice in your photos simply check the graphics option and you should be able to find something that looks nice that you can add right here all right so just skip through and found these graphics after going through the graphics option and this is something that I'm, I've found looks nice for our book cover and I'm just going to add it right here and I think it looks nice now the other thing I'd want maybe to do is to maybe modify this text I think uh, the way it looks the blue doesn't look really nice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and I'm just going to select the A alone and I'm going to click on the color option right here and simply click on the color wheel and choose pick color and maybe change it to red like that and also come back to the B select the B also do the same thing pick color then select the green color do the same for the C all right and after uh, selecting the colors you can see now this I think it looks nice and amazing so this is our book cover so at this point I think now our template or the one that we're modifying the cover that we downloaded for Amazon is no longer of use from here on now it's just for us using our own imagination so I'm just going to select this cover and delete it okay now this is our book cover now the next thing maybe we'd want to do is let me just show you something when we reduce the transparency for our template from book cover character you can see this doesn't look really nice so what we want to do maybe also we add a border here and we're going just to choose elements and choose shapes right here select the shape and we're going to reduce it in size like that do the same right here and you're going to stretch it out so that it reaches this end and also the bottom like that okay yeah now the color it's up to you you can choose whichever color you want but i think having the color that is similar to the one you're using for the text is very very good so in this case we're going to leave it like that so now what you can do now here also this template is no longer very very useful however you have to make sure that you don't also add anything here where you 
is showing backward. Now maybe before we get rid of this template, I'd also want to add another thing right here that we can use. So let's just go right ahead and add a shape again. And I'm going to add it here and we're going to add some graphics right here. Okay. So let's just add it right here like that. And now we're going to find some graphics, go to elements, search for ABC or alphabet. And I think this one looks nice. I'm just going to add this right here, reduce it in size, maybe to something like that and add it right there like that. All right. Yeah, now we have something that looks like that. Now we're not yet done. What we're going to do now this time around, we're going to delete now this uh, Amazon KDP template as it's no longer of use. Now we have that. Now this book cover doesn't really, really stand out. So we're going to add a background right here. So we're going to go to elements, and also now this time around just search for background and from the background option we're going just to click on the photos option you can also use the graphics it's up to you but in this case i'm just going to use the photos option and check through whichever image that you think can look nice you can test them out and see what looks nice so in this case i think this one looks okay and let's try to add it right here all right so now when we have this image what i'm going to do i don't want this bluish to be on the front page so i'm just going to flip this by clicking right here on the flip option and choose flip horizontal like that and what we're going to do is send this to the back so just right click go on layer and click send backwards you want to make sure that everything that is on the page on your cover is in front of this background so i'm just going to continue sending it on the back until everything is in the front okay so just do that now to be sure that everything is now in front of this background when you right click on it and choose layer you see that the send backward option is now no longer able to be clicked so that means it's now fully in the background and what you have to do just is just enlarge it to fit your canvas okay and now choose position center it like that okay and that's our background now the other thing maybe with what we can do with our background uh want this color the brown does it look nice so we're going to change this color of the brown and just choose color picker and you're going to pick it from this bluish like that all right so that is now our cover and this cover we can actually use it to publish on amazon kdp so now you can see this is what i meant by modifying no one can say you copied someone's book cover design that's why this framework works check the competition get the measurements modify and create in canva and this is exactly what we've done and this is our final book cover so now this is ready for us to use and publish on amazon kdp so the final thing is just click on the share option now when you are going to download this you're not going to download it as an image don't do that you have to download it as a pdf print so here where you click download option right here you change this file type to pdf print like that then here RGB is okay it works but it's not the best when it comes to printing so what you want to do is make sure you use the CMYK which is the best for professional printing so just choose that one now if you're using Canva also you have to know that using the professional version requires a paid plan so if you're unable to use this paid plan you can simply try Canva free for 30 days once you download it you can simply cancel the trial and simply download that and once you download you are now ready to actually publish your book cover together with your interior on Amazon KDP and just wait to start seeing those fans coming thank you very much if this video is helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up thank you